I have a whole video devoted to falls. You can find it here. Before I start, I promise not to scare you. So if you have a weak stomach, you can safely keep watching. So you already know that I'm taking this stuff very seriously. Everybody should know about possible consequences of the activity you're about to start. Imagine if you want to do surfing, and someone tells you, no, there is no possibility that you're gonna drown or get attacked by a shark. That would be a lie, and I think you should be aware of such things. If you're planning to start cycling to work, you should know about the possibility of being hit by a car. It happened to me several years ago. There are always ways to lower the risks. If you want to start a free solo climbing career, imagine someone telling you that it's impossible to fall and crash because you're already such a pro. Same about inline or roller skating. Yes, it's possible to fall and hurt yourself. But knowing about risk helps you to mitigate it. At some point, I was one of those skaters who kind of never fall. At least they believe so. However, I did fall. I just thought that the fall yesterday was the last one. And this time I will be more careful. Besides, I'm not gonna do risky things this time. And I didn't do any tricks when I had the worst fall in my skating life. I was just going straight. Very simple, smooth. It was a known path, actually. I don't know what that was. Was it some wooden chip or little rock? But I tripped and grazed my knee really badly. I used to fall before, but it was never that bad. I came home, saw that mess, I drove myself to hospital. Luckily, the other leg wasn't hurt. The nurse who processed the wound said to me, I'm sorry if it's painful. I answered, I don't feel anything actually. That's how bad it was. This took two painful months of recovery. Knowing all the risks of skating, why did I even skate without protection? As my friend once said, humans are very poor at assessing risks. I guess that's why we don't wear helmets sometimes. And that's why we invest our money and do other silly things. There is a hidden enemy of your safety. And it is your confidence. I've heard many times that most car accidents are not caused by novice or seasoned drivers, but by those who have been driving for a year or so and have built up enough confidence. Similarly, I didn't wear protection during my chill-out skating sessions because I didn't do crazy stuff. Many of my falls happened on a flat surface unexpectedly. Once a shoelace got between my wheels, few times my frames clashed unexpectedly for no apparent reason. That can happen during crossovers when you switch to longer frames. If you are skating on a tiled surface, your wheel can get caught in a groove between the tiles. These are all hidden threads that you are not aware of, and they are the worst enemy of any skater. A slightly slippery surface is also a danger. For example, you may be skating on a known turf. But if it has rained recently and dried out only partially, the grip will be slightly different. Just a few days ago I watched a video of a bodybuilding coach who told the story of an athlete who could push more than 200 kg on a bench press but tore his muscle with only a 50 kg barbell. I don't know how or why, but it seems like some kind of pattern. To quote his words, newbies and pros are the two least risky groups because the former are too scared to traumatize themselves and the latter are already very experienced and know where the danger is. But the intermediate and advanced groups represent the highest risk because they have built up confidence and skills and believe that everything is under their control. The biggest danger awaits you when you become too confident to acknowledge it. As a skater who lives in a hot climate, I was very reluctant to wear protection. Especially during hot days because the feeling of plastic rubbing on moist skin is terrible when you sweat. This demotivated me to wear protection. But after visiting an emergency room, I realized that it doesn't matter how unpleasant it is. If it's too hot, it's better to go out early in the morning, when the temperature hasn't reached its peak yet, and find some shady spots. I found a certain type of protective gear that is semi-open for my knees and hands. Unfortunately, it's not the best protection, but it does work. All the expensive protection I checked was either too bulky, or it fully enclosed my palms and knees, which affected my cooling. It is a trade-off for those living in a hot climate between better protection and better cooling. Maybe this is another mistake I'm making. But so far it's been working well for me. I really need to find better protection. I don't know if this video can motivate anyone. No video could motivate me until the certain turning events. But I hope you can avoid the same experience. Stay safe. I'll see you in my next videos.
Bye now.